Yeah, that's the new thing now. Short songs. With TXT, you know there's gonna be an ear candy attached to it somewhere. He's a waterbender. What's going on guys? K-pop producer, writer, rock man here. Okay, so TXT has a new single, Over the Moon. Absolutely love pretty much everything that they've done since the beginning. So let's check this out. I mean, just from the still, I'm assuming it's gonna be a more chill song, obviously. All right, let's see what this is. It's like a wedding. He's a waterbender. Oh, red hair. That's cool. I love when they do the colored hair. I Also, I think TXT, one of the reasons why they're going to be around for so long is when they do a lot of natural instrument stuff, classic sounds, guitars. Like, I love when they do guitar stuff. Guitar stuff is timeless. That's why One Direction's music is going to be around for ages. When you have a lot of live instruments and it's just really based around having just a great song, great vocals, those songs last the longest because they're timeless. You know, that this song could come out at any, any time. That's why a lot of their songs are like that, and they're they're all so good. Oh, nice little post. It needed this back section, yeah. Mm. Oh, okay. All right, here's my thoughts on that course. Okay, so also this dance move. Somebody used that in another song. Tell me in the comments. Was it Stray Kids or did they do it? Is that like their thing? And they're like, I don't know. I, I could have sworn I saw that. The chorus, the first part of the chorus was just very chill, whatever. You know, but but then again, with TXT, you know there's going to be an ear candy attached to it somewhere. So even if you've got like a normal uh, chorus, they're going to follow it with the post chorus, which was super catchy. Loved it. It really tied it together. Really tied it together. Because if you're going to do something that's just super chill and it's going to be a huge record, you know, it's nice to have a little surprise, and I've said that in some other videos. They, that, 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 that little part of the melody in the first part was kind of nice, kind of offset it a little bit. But having that post chorus come in, where they save those high notes for the falsetto in the back part, sounded great. That really tied it together for me. <laughs> Background vocals coming in here. Nice. Post chorus. Their falsettos are just amazing. Probably some of the best falsettos in K-pop, to be honest. Well, they're world music now. They're not just K-pop. Oh, okay. So I guess it's a short song. Two minutes and a half. So they just have the, the hook with the post-chorus. Yeah, that's the new thing now. Short songs. A lot of people are saying they want songs under three minutes. If you could get a song at two and a half minutes, that makes sense. That's cool. They're just skipping the bridge. You know, because if you go to the second chorus and you skip the bridge, that means then you're going to skip the outro chorus. So you're either going to do... A first, first, first pre, first chorus, second verse, second pre, second chorus, and then an outro melody, or you're just going to cut it if you want to hit that two and a half mark. There's another way around it. Overall, that was a nice, that was a nice song.
It was nice. I could uh, I could listen to that. You know, uh, I, there's not much to say about it. Honestly, it's just a great song, and and the more natural vibes for them just work so good. They get to showcase their voices, which they have some of the smoothest, enjoyable voices out around. I think I, I'm I'm a huge TXC fan, so I, I'm. I might be a little biased, but I, I feel like most people would agree with that. Anyway, all right, I think I'm going to check out one more song today. I think, uh, what do we got? Oh, XG has a visualizer out. Let's take a look. All right, I'll see you guys.